As kids head back to the classroom, including Milwaukee Public Schools, some other area school districts are not requiring masks. And this has some doctors concerned about not only the health and safety of children, but the community. CBS 58's Melissa Zigowitz is live with more on what you need to know to protect yourself. Melissa? Yeah, you know, with the Delta variant making up a majority of cases here in Wisconsin, one doctor at UW Health tells me not masking up could lead to significant spread both inside and outside the classroom. Some school districts in Wisconsin are starting off the year without face masks. Dr. Gregory Demiri, a pediatric infectious disease specialist at UW Health, believes this is a recipe for disaster. Without children masking, they are powder kegs waiting to ignite. This is the first time schools will be open with the Delta variant going around, which Dr. Demiri says spreads three to four times faster. The experiment is taking place right now in the south where, where schools are opening without masks and we're seeing the disastrous results of that. Dr. Demiri says not masking puts a lot of children at risk who are vulnerable to COVID-19. He hopes parents will take this into consideration. We have a lot of children in the school with um, with disabilities, with, with chronic medical issues. They're um, more at risk for COVID and more, more at risk for more severe COVID. Um, and um, I think we have a duty to protect them. He also has concerns about kids taking the virus home to family members. He recommends masking up yourself when heading into public places, even if you are vaccinated. Worried about children, uh, of course, because I'm a pediatrician, but I'm also worried about the adults that they expose. So each kid you know, can infect up to 10 adults with this new Delta variant. Now, just as a reminder, wearing a face mask on a school bus is still required, regardless of the school district, because of a federal mandate. Reporting live from Wabatosa, Melissa Zigowitz, CBS 58.